morning prayer for Tuesday the 21st of April. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. At once you ransomed your people from Egypt, and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your risen Son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day you have made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us. So let us celebrate the feast not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he dies to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin, and alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ all shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Psalm 8 O Lord our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Your majesty above the heavens is praised, out of the mouths of babes at the breast. You have founded a stronghold against your foes, that you might still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider your heavens the works of your fingers, the moon and the stars you have ordained, what is man that you should be mindful of him, the son of man that you should seek him out? You have made him little lower than the angels, and crown him with glory and honour. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands, and put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, even the wild beasts of the field, the birds of the air, the fish of the sea, and whatsoever moves in the paths of the sea. O Lord our Governor, how glorious is your name in all the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The reading comes from the book of Colossians. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him all things in heaven and on earth were created, things visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions, or rulers or power. All things have been created through him and for him. He himself is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he might come to have first place in everything. For in him all the fullness of God was pleased to dwell, and through him God was pleased to reconcile himself all things, whether on earth or in heaven by making peace through the blood of his cross. And you, who were once estranged and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, he has now reconciled in his fresh, freshly body, fleshly body through death, so as to present you holy and blameless and irreproachable before him, provided that you continue, continue securely established and steadfast in the faith, without shifting from the hope promised by the gospel that you have heard, which has been proclaimed to you, to every creature under heaven, I, Paul, being became 
a servant of this gospel. I am now rejoicing in my suffering for your sake, and in my flesh I am com completing what is lacking in Christ's affections for the sake of his body, that is, the church. I became its servant according to God's commission that was given to me for you, to make the word of God fully known, the mystery that has been hidden throughout the ages and generations, but has now been revealed to his saints. To them God chose to make known how great among the Gentiles are the riches of the glory of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. It is he whom we proclaim, warning everyone and teaching everyone in all wisdom, so that we may present everyone mature in Christ. For this I told and struggled with all the energy that he powerfully inspires within me. <clears throat> death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound, and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars for all eternity. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, you child, should be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Those who are wise will shine as brightly as the heavens, and those who have instructed many in virtue will shine like stars in all eternity. Alleluia. Let us pray. Today we remember in the yearly cycle Alcim, Abbot of Lebec, Archbishop of Canterbury, and Teacher of the Faith. Help us to follow him be one of Christ's disciples, to proclaim the good news, to teach to all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for God's creation, for the peoples of the earth and their responsibility to maintain what God has given us. We pray at this time for all those in our congregations and in our villages, who spend time in their gardens, in the gardens of others, making them look good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick in body, mind and spirit, especially those with coronavirus, and those with life shortening illnesses. Give them the strength to know that you walk alongside them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Pray for prisoners and captives, those who are stuck in their own homes, those who are stuck in the homes 
where there are bad relationships. Give them the light of your love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Eternal God, who gave your great gifts to your servant Anselm, as pastor and teacher, grant that we, like him, may desire you with our whole heart, and so desiring may seek you, and seeking may find you, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence, as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Forgive us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.